Uh, yeah, uh, how do I get, this is how, oh, Vegas is a stronghold for us, as a matter of fact. I don't know if you know this, but, uh, you will now. Uh, my brother, my big brother, he is one of the most powerful Teamsters on earth. You know what a Teamster is, you live in Vegas. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. My brother is really? one of, yes, I just got off the phone and told him to send me some money. Um, <laughs> just, I mean, on Facebook. So, you know, my brother is strong everywhere. And wherever he goes, he runs, he controls trucking. You know, everything in the country has to be shipped. So, wherever he goes and they doing whatever they do, and he, he was doing school bus campaigns. So, wherever he go and he meets somebody, and he mentioned my name and they might Google me, they'll say, you know what? Can we get him to come speak? And that's how my speaking engagement started. Yep. And one of the first people that I spoke to was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That was after I spoke at uh, Robert Morris uh, College in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and Robert Morris College. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think, have you had any type of formal training for that? Or is that just based on like experience? Um, it's just all experience, man. Uh, to be honest with you, I've always could speak publicly. However, uh, being a drug addict helped me speak because I used to always go to NA meetings. And they used to always say, you can't sit in here and be quiet. And they always wanted me to tell my story and I got familiar with my story and my surrounding. And, and you, know, I, you know, I've always been good speaking in public. I used to do comedy with Martin Lawrence and Chris Tucker, so. Really? Yeah, I got pictures on my page with me and two, you know, Tupac was my homie. That, that, that picture on my page. Yeah, I've been doing this yeah. a long time, man, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So you, you did comedy rap? Well, I did comedy rap, and they, I did that for fun on YouTube. And some people called me and paid me to perform that live. But no, I, I've done actually stand up comedy um, with Martin Lawrence, and uh, I did it with Martin Lawrence in Greenbelt, Maryland. It was a place called the Comedy Connection back in like 97. You know what I'm saying? Because he's from D.C. And I did a comedy show here in Richmond. They had a club called Club Z. And uh, Chris Tucker was here. Chris Tucker, Chris Thomas, the mayor of. Uh, uh, MTV rap. Uh, who else I did? Bill Bellamy. Uh, a lot of them dudes, man. Uh, last name Washington. A lot of them dudes know me, man. They they know, they know I'm coming. They know I'm, I don't play no games. Yeah, they know. Me. Um, so you're, you're, are you doing comedy still? Is that or is that something that you're leading up to, or you want to get back into it? Or are you pretty much retired from that? I mean, I was telling my uh, my brother the other day that you know I wouldn't mind doing a comedy show here or there, but comedy ain't for me, man, anymore. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like it takes it. It's a lot for comedians to travel, and it takes a long time to make money in that business. You know what I mean? Like if you're not already hot, then you're gonna starve for five years. And I don't have five years to waste. I've been doing this for five years. You know what I mean? So, but when I get to a certain plateau, I will re-expose my uh, uh, my ability to uh, entertain people as far as making them laugh. So. Yeah, that's, that's definitely in the works, but right now I gotta focus on what's working. And that's Raw Squirrel and Raw Squirrel Film Division. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. 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 Y